Welcome to Quality Improvement, HIT's Impact on a Patient Safety Culture. This is Lecture C. In this lecture, we will discuss specific ways an HIT system can lead to a medical error and use the Pablo Garcia medical error as a case study. It is important that you, as a future IT professional, appreciate the tremendous changes to clinical workflow that are generated with the transition to electronic health records and how HIT can contribute to a medical error. Understanding how HIT changes not just clinical workflow, but also roles and behavior is an important part of ensuring patients are safe. This lecture will introduce the learner to a framework to identify the potential for medical error introduced by information systems. The objectives for this lecture of HIT's impact on a patient safety culture are to identify techniques for adaptive leadership, identify frameworks to support a patient safety culture, differentiate between technical and adaptive change. In 2013, at a leading academic medical center, 16-year-old Pablo Garcia received a 39-fold overdose of a common antibiotic. There were over 50 steps, from ordering the medication to its administration, involving doctors, nurses, and pharmacists. In weight-based dosing calculations, it is common that a pill size is more than 5% off. This prompted a correction workflow between the pharmacist and the ordering physician to have the ordering physician correct the order. The ordering physician, in attempting to correct the order, made a mistake and entered the correct dose in the wrong box. This is known as a mode error. The pharmacist assumed the ordering physician corrected the original order and approved the dose. There was no differentiation between a very small dosage over the limits and one that was enormous. In 2012, the National Institute for Standards and Technology created Usability Protocol, EUP, for the evaluation of the usability of electronic health records, EHR, systems. The goal of the report was to help focus on identifying and mitigating usability issues of EHR systems. The use error root cause model created patient identification error performed on one patient or documented in one patient's record that was intended for another. Mode error actions performed in one mode intended for another. Data accuracy error displayed data are not accurate. Data availability error Decisions are based upon incomplete information because related information is not updated within a reasonable amount of time or requires additional navigation, access to another provider's note, or taking actions to update the status. Interpretation error. Differences in measurement systems, conventions, and terms contribute to erroneous assumption about meaning of information. Recall error requires users to remember information rather than to recognize it. Feedback error, insufficient information because of a lack of system feedback about automated actions. Data integrity error, stored data that becomes corrupted or deleted. This slide illustrates how the root cause identification taxonomy can be used as part of a risk assessment that combines severity and frequency to predict the probability and severity of an adverse event. This figure illustrates a categorization of the human interaction contribution to a medical error that leads to different types of failure. This slide illustrates the National Coordinating Council for Medication Error Reporting and Prevention, NCCMERP, harm scale. In 2012, the Institute of Medicine released a report on health IT and patient safety entitled, quote, Building Safer Systems for Better Care, unquote. In this report, they identified features of a safe health IT system as, number one, easy retrieval of accurate, timely, and reliable data. Number two, a system the user wants to interact with. Number three, simple and intuitive data displays. Number four, easy navigation. Number five, evidence at the point of care to aid decision making. Number six, enhancements to workflow, automating mundane tasks, and streamlining work 
never-increasing physical or cognitive workload. Number 7. Easy transfer of information to and from other organizations and providers. Number 8. No unanticipated downtime. A common implementation oversight that can lead to medical errors is rolling out a clinical IT system and treating the changes merely as technical changes without being aware of the changes to workflow and clinical roles. This concludes Lecture C of HIT's impact on a patient safety culture. In summary, health IT has great potential to reduce medical errors. It also has the potential to introduce new opportunities for medical errors and over-reliance on technology.